All right, there you go. A day, daily dunk session. session. All right, so I just went over some nutritional things, what I do, what I eat, and how I get ready for a dunk session. It was solo dolo, you know, pandemic dunk session. Got my sandbag workout in. All right, hitting those trigger muscles. It's dope business, man. But when the street light come on, it's time to go home. All right, so we're gonna go over the meal prep. The meal prep really just makes it a little bit easier to eat throughout the day while I'm working out and doing everything else. So, no, it's not super expensive and super precise, but it does do the job by giving me my macros. And if you don't know what macros are, then you're missing them both there, buddy. Macros is the daily uh, amounts that I need with my protein, carbohydrates, and fats. And the reason why I like counting those is because that, I mean, protein is a muscle food, helps the recovery of the body. Carbohydrates give you the energy and helps the protein get to the muscle with that energy. And then the essential fats help with the absorption of the minerals and the vitamins. So it keeps me up to par. And if you really want balance, nutrition is everything. Supplemental, I do supplement. But what people have a misunderstanding of what supplements are. See, in today's world, food doesn't really have what it says it has in it. So in order to hit your max, you have to make sure. All right, where was that phone cut out? I don't know what this stuff going on. <clears throat> Can't really call it no more. But all right, so if you're hitting your max, then you have a little bit more control of the functioning of your body. Like, for example, I know now that I want to hit the protein early in the morning to help with recovery and get me ready my daily workout which then two hours before i'm hitting my carbs because i know i want to be energized enough in order to hit the workout how many carbs it really depends on how tough the workout's going to be so you already know if it's going to be a crazy dunk session leg session then i'm really going to carb up but if it's going to be something that i don't really need access weight then i don't use that much carbs like i kind of kind of shut my carbs down and, and pump up my protein that makes sense to you once you know what max are. That's essentially how this diet goes. So I'm just gonna name off a couple of things. I go by estimate. Um, I really been doing it for a while, so I know how to eyeball it. Um, but some of you guys might have to use that Google and look stuff up, like like what how many calories is hot Cheetos? You know, some of you guys have a hot Cheeto diet. And that's probably the reason why your bounce go down in like no time. All right. All right, so very simple. Well, let's just start with breakfast, all right? Breakfast, I really don't have to milk up from breakfast. It's because that it's the first thing in the morning. I'm gonna have enough time to make the breakfast. The real important meals are pre-workout, post-workout, lunch, and dinner sometimes. So I like to get those ready. Morning time. Can't go wrong with the old fashioned oatmeal. Put some blueberry antioxidant in. Also, like to kill water is because that's like jump starting the system. So, in the morning, I'll kill water, um, hit my vitamins, uh, take my protein, which is a great protein by the Golden Air. I mean, they have the essentials, five compounds, five different type of proteins that's gonna help the body recover. So that'll get me started. Then, like I said, I hit my oatmeal and maybe a cup, a cup and a half, maybe about 10, 15 blueberries. And that'd be the start of the day. Now, what really is going to like make the, what do you say? Now we're really, um, will make the meal prep effective if, if I have my lunch and then I have my pre-workout meal. All right, so I get all my carbs from oatmeal. I love oatmeal. Uh, I rarely start cutting out rice a little bit just because it's a little bit heavier, but brown rice is, is good. It's a good source of you know carbs if you want to use it. Anyway, I usually get it 
from the oatmeal. All the oatmeal can be kind of heavy and sticky, uh, but it does do the trick. It has a slow release time and it keeps me energized. So before pre-workout, pre-workout I have me a cup of oats um, and maybe a banana. Now I like to take an energy drink. Um, again, by Golden Era, we have the organic energy. This is a lot of natural energy. It has things like maca root, um, pomegranate. Um, it has the the beet root or the beet juice. It has a lot of the natural energy and natural caffeine that give me that boost of energy in order to do some crazy stuff that you actually see out there on the court, right? All right. So post workout. Uh, carbs, like I said, and especially for recovery, uh, you want to make sure you get that protein in. I like to take a protein shake, and then I like to energize it with some carbs, which is, as you can see, frosted shredded <laughs> wheat. Uh, probably not the brandy kind, but it does the trick. Anyway, then we have dinner, chicken and broccoli. Can't go wrong with that. Might throw some rice in there just to, you know, keep it going. But if you're trying to cut up and lose weight, then you don't want to pack your meals with a lot of carbs. Uh, you can really go away from that. So, very simple. Like I said, I really eyeball it. I don't really uh, take the measuring cups anymore just because I've been doing it for a while. And, it, and I kind of know exactly what I need. Um, what's going to do a trick. Sometimes I go over, sometimes I go under, but like I said, I supplement to make sure that I hit my numbers. So if you want to learn more about that, hit up Counting Macros or hit me up and I'll send you over to that link. So either way, you're going to hit that link. All right, so let's go out to the workout. So sun finally went down, especially with the things going on, you know what I mean? It's like you gotta kinda find your niche. We're living in the valley out here in Bakersfield. It's like, you know, don't go out there around noon you're trying to dehydrate and die. It's like 110. Anyway, the sun went down, about to head over to the old high school stomping grounds. Just had my pre-workout, something very light. Like I said, oatmeal is the best carb source ever can't go wrong with that so oatmeal blueberries and i have more organic energy by golden era so i'm gonna get a real real quick session gotta go through drastic measures you're gonna see me hop this fence real quick and that's just what we do son you gotta do what you gotta do get shit done all right i'm ready we're gonna get a couple of workouts in. Pay close attention, cause this shit is epic. It really is. Excuse my language. Let's make sure this rim is 10, cause I don't want none of y'all haters on here talking about, oh, he dunking on low rims. That's not what we do in public. So I gotta do it. Yeah. All right, now we locked and loaded. All right, so we'll get a little light warm up in. Warm up the hamstrings, quad. Got my intro workouts, the BCAs. If you don't already know, 
by the golden era. Basketball cocktail. Gotta stay hydrated, especially in this heat. Especially in this heat. Lights out. So really quick. It's a little resistance. I love it because it's just it's a sandbag. Go anywhere you want. Never hop in the fence. This stuff is crazy. You gotta find a way. So a couple things I'm gonna knock out. Definitely a modified deadlift, but it's gonna be with an explosion. I'm mean, not got some RDLs, and all it's really doing is triggering the muscles that's going to allow you to explode. Now, all my movements are all explosive. I'm getting that pop, that pop in the hip. That's where the explosion comes from. You get that pop, and everything else comes in sync. So, let's start with this one. It's an RDL all the way over the head. These handles are crucial. She stand on my heels. Slight bend, so I'm just using half string and glue. See that pop? Pop is important. That's what's going to get you that explosion. Shoulders are working too. Keep the abs tight. And explode up. When train like you want to perform. Explosion. Next one, it's kind of like a power clean, but since the weight is not as heavy and the handles, the grips are a little bit better, I can get a little bit of jump in. So it's kind of a multi-movement exercise. All right, same pop. Start from the ground, all power. Pop. work right there. 
ground, small power. Ground, small pop. Use the hammies, snaps tight. Explosive muscle. All right, so I'm gonna go with the single leg RDLs. As you can see, going down, same thing as a deadlift, slight bend. I'm gonna keep abs tight. When you lower yourself, you're gonna feel that pull in the hammy and the glute. Then you're exploding up. All right, same concept, but you isolate the muscles. I do perform squats and jump squats, but I think this is more effective because it's hitting that explosive muscle. So. I mean, what would I know? I mean, I'm only a guy with a 50 inch vertical. My birthday's in about a week and a half, so you do the math. All right, find the handle. effective. It takes my core muscles to stay balanced. I keep everything tight. Everything tight. Woo. All right, get the other leg. As you can see, I'm not looking down. I want to look forward. Oh, if you go to the side, put your finger in your ear. It'll give you balance. Abs tight. Finish your breath. All right, so let's get the facts straight. Check the height real quick. Yeah, I brought the tape measure. Oh, no. Oh, there you go. You're getting the facts. Right. That's what we're about. We're about facts. Facts. It's not, it's not, it's not a simple task, you know? They have bounce. It takes a lot, but the main thing is knowing good work ethic, good nutritional plan, some athletic ability, and the dog. You gotta have the dog in you.